Welcome. Welcome. To welcome. Little, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> welcome to the Little Old Sons podcast. And the Little Old Sons podcast. <laughs> we tell some. We tell some bad jokes. Talk about some. Ah, yes. Thank you. Yeah, Cole. We're in front of a live studio audience yeah. today. <laughs> we'll be answering a couple of your most uh, most heated questions from the internet. What's Donnie's dating history? Willie's first jobs and Blythe's worst first dates. Uh, that's just a. That's just a. Yeah, with, there's some spoilers in. Oh like, yeah. If you, if you haven't read Lonesome Dove, Streets of Laredo, or Comanche Moon, turn off now. Yeah. To, Unless you don't care. There'll be know. a warning. Yeah. 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 All screen. right. Yeah. I about to say. Yeah. A lot of yeah. people probably. We're have talking it. about corn, cows, and abductions. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Don't get that should in be the title Corn, cows, abductions. That's Blythe, it. Okay. Live okay. almost got murdered. We kind of touch on booth life just a little bit. Yeah. Um, it depends. Not everybody can handle booth life. No, it's really? not for everyone. You'll it's see not things. for the weak of hearted. You'll see things. Yeah. It, it, it's weak tough. of heart. Um, Willie, and I, Willie and I did good. Blythe and I did good. But uh, yeah, you never know. There's a lot of things, you know. Coming from Winnebago to the big city, there's a uh, some a big change. Shock. It's a culture shock yeah. for sure. Um, first of all, there's more than two restaurants around, and yeah. second of all, there's, there's people that you want to help on the side of the road that you shouldn't. Yeah, there's just yeah. Cool. I think, <laughs> I think, I think that's it. That's a good lesson before yeah before we get started. People are gonna be so confused going into this <laughs> podcast, but let's do it yeah. <laughs> now. On to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and on with the podcast. Do we have an intro for these podcasts yet? We uh, at the end, Cole. Yeah, we always do intros at the end. The end. Don't you edit these? Donnie yeah. came I, I edit these. Oh. Wow. Well. But Cole, if if you want to. <laughs> nope. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. She edits these. <laughs> All right. Back off. Hey, hey, hey. It's my job. Willie's been on one. In case everyone was wondering. I do the Winnebago Weeklies. Oh, really? Ah, no those. way. I Nobody will ever know that. I never watch them. Don does the Rodeo Toms. I edited... Um, I edited... Um, 2.0? I edited... Um, <laughs> uh, Stop talking. What was the show we did on Netflix? How to Be a Cowboy? Yeah, I edited that. <laughs> you don't remember the show that, that you... <laughs> I've edited so many shows now oh. that... You just forget. Yeah. When you've had an extensive career like me, Blythe, and you've lived a little life, mm-hmm. you start to forget things. Netflix is one of the smaller ones, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot more than you'll ever know about this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So questions. Dale told me to um, put on my story like he does and see what the people wanted to ask on this podcast. It's a sweet picture of Cole. This is the picture it's I used. Terrible, yeah. Nice. I saw him taking it. I didn't realize it had that bad of an overbite. Yeah. <laughs> really? It looked like a Simpsons character. <laughs> you <laughs> really never noticed that before. Of course, of, course, like that of course I do. Of course I do. I'm not self-conscious about it at all. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> you never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> saw it right off. <laughs> <laughs> Name that movie, Willie. <laughs> Idea. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Johnson. Yep. You gotta watch it. How old is that? Seventy eight. In nineteen hundred and seventy eight. Robert Redford. You know Robert Redford? No idea. Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. I don't know if it was. Sounds really familiar. I don't know if it was seventy eight. I'm gonna. Have to yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, that sounds old. That phone. sounds old. <laughs> no, I it's definitely seventies. I guarantee you. Seventy two. Yeah, I was gonna say it's either seventies oh, or sixties. Nineteen seventy two. Okay, <laughs> Hold on, bring that phone back out. Oh, yeah, oh, you mean, show, show off oh, your you new, mean, uh, yeah, new phone. Who it is? Show him that phone. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a flipper. It's awesome. It's a flip right. phone. There's a sound to it when you open and close it. It just sounds like it's breaking all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Apparently, it, it fits in your front shirt pocket, though. So that's the best part about it. Okay, first question. Realistically, how many fourth graders could you take in a fight? Will, you going first, Willie? There's some big fourth graders there out are. there. There's some pretty big fourth graders. I've heard this debate talked about on a lot of different well, podcasts. I've, yep, I've heard it. Uh, it's usually younger kids. I feel like than fourth graders. Fourth gr- fourth graders. Yeah. How old are you in fourth grade? Ten or eleven? Oh. Nine or yeah. ten, probably. Yeah, nine, nine or ten. ten. Big. Are they nine. just like? Is there some distance between me, dude? And fourth them? grade. Like, 
Yeah, yeah they like, start off like to, a, yeah. They probably have to come. I mean, no matter what, they have to come to you. Right. I'm just saying, you know, if they got a hundred yards, like, do I have time to prepare? If is this like a? <laughs> Are you gonna run? Is or this fight? just like I'm in my house? And <laughs> do you have any? Do you get any weapons to use, or is just hand to hand? I guess it's just hand to hand. That's a bummer. I think you could stretch it out a little bit longer if you, yeah, if you make an example of the first one. Yeah, <laughs> if you put the if you put the fear of God in the first couple, yeah. and they're like they I see think. someone get thrashed. But what if they're just like, <laughs> what if they're just like kamikaze fourth graders? Like oh. yeah. they were they were raised from the time they could remember they're built different to attack cole snyder see but then i feel like they'd be (laughs) easier to get around if they're just if they're just straight just going no no strategy about it right if they're just going straight ahead i think they'd be easier to like just get away from you know what i mean yeah but what if they get a hold of you then they're already there i mean there's some fast fourth graders out there too there's some athletes out there yeah. I don't know. Do they just have their bare hands? Because I yeah, feel like they I, yeah. just have yeah. their bare hands. Right. Those kids have claws, though. Like, yeah, they don't cut their fingers. No. It's a pack <laughs> mentality, though. It is. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. It, Let's just say, for debate's sake, they're all the same size. They're Four all foot. the same size fourth graders. Yeah, 100 pounds. And they're just, they just have bare hands. 100 no, pounds. Yeah. Four foot five, 100 pounds. Five. Okay. Four foot five. Is that heavy for four foot? I don't five? know. That's, that's fifty five pounds heavy. lighter than I, me. Actually, yeah, I probably wasn't a hundred pounds in fourth grade. I 80. definitely was not. I bet you I was like eighty. Yeah, 85. you're probably yeah. right. I feel like I could take a lot of them. I feel yeah. like man, <laughs> doing the math. I like, feel like. I mean, there's gonna be a rogue one that weighs like hundred and forty in fourth grade, but that's a big fourth grader, right? Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> and if you that's just focus on him box. first and take care of yeah, him, yeah, if you take him out. And put down and they see him. If they see Achilles go down first, right? Like, if, it, yeah, right. if it clears out and it's just one, yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're too young to know about mental warfare. Yeah, they can understand that. Animal yeah, I fun. think you kind of got to get them, get them backpedaling a little bit, get them thinking, and then wait. You know, all I got to do is yeah, what like that movie Three Hundred. You know, get him into a narrow, narrow corner so I can just fight a couple at a time. So, so what's you your answer? Three hundred. Three hundred's a lot. Yeah. I'm not I, don't, I don't care who you are. I don't care how many what your, opo- lot, yeah. what your opponent is. Like three hundred eighty pound kids adds up. Three hundred of them just just putting the boots to you and everything yeah. while you're on the ground. Yeah, that's tough, man. I'm gonna have to say like forty. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's I, like, I, I don't thinking. think 40 40 I don't think many more. I was gonna that. go less. I was gonna say twenty five, thirty yeah. on the yeah. ground. That's, crying. that's where I was thinking. They're on yeah. the ground crying, and the rest yeah. of them. They got right. me. <laughs> but those first couple, yeah, it's gonna be. It was yeah. They're going down. Yeah, that first wave is it. Yeah, they're, they're, gotta make an they're, they're finished. I like what you yeah. said. It's like you <laughs> just got to make an example, example out of yeah, one of them. Make, yeah. it's, like, it's like when the sub comes in, like the the class clown, like student that always gets away with murder, always like tries to test out the waters with the sub. No one murdered anyone Substitute. In my class. I thought you were talking submarine. <laughs> substitute submarine? teacher. Yeah, we're underwater. <laughs> what else you got, next Donnie? Question. Okay. Well, the next question is, how can I become an intern? Which... Text intern to 940-353-0890. Great job. That yep. was it. You should be really yeah, logical but... when you're applying for this. Yeah, Willie. What as, are some steps? As a person that goes take? through them, I think the biggest one that I saw recently was there. So the job that we have available is someone's going to be driving the truck around with a trailer. Well, someone sent me a video why they were operating heavy equipment. <laughs> and that was their interview. And, like, the dude's like, dude, I'll be a great, like, I'm a hard worker, like, I'll be safe and stuff like that. I was like, man, you're you're sending us <laughs> a minute and a half internship application yeah. while you're operating heavy equipment, and we're going to trust you with DV's truck I feel like all of our booth stuff. Did, man, you're just not, <laughs> didn't you're he, stupid. <laughs> didn't he nail, didn't he nail it's the skilled. subject matter? Yeah. He can he, do he, both. He can multitask. But anybody can just take a video How outside. Did you get a job? Outside, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I don't remember your application. Apparently, <laughs> no. you're the one that interviewed me. Yeah, everybody. Did you send a video? No. Yeah. Yeah, he did. A long time ago. Yeah. Because I remember, like I told you, before the yeah. show, we were like, ah, uh, yeah. But I don't remember your video. I just remember talking to you. I just was, remember texting you. And like it started off with me playing guitar and just like, hi there. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm cold. Hey. I understand you're hiring or whatever. And then it just cut to a bunch of stuff. Like I was, uh, I was the one keeping all these generators running to keep these cows watered. And I just remember there was this one, like, I don't know, I'm just sitting there like spinning a wrench and everything. Like, you know what all this takes? It's a lot of prepper, proper preparation and, uh, you know, a little bit of hard work. And I just poof, like hit the, hit the. Is that the most recent it. one? Nice. 
I only sent, I only made one video. I just sent it again. Okay, because I remember watching the recent one. I was like, this guy's pretty good. And I showed Don. He's like, yeah, he applied before, but he didn't want the job last time. Is it off? It's not that I didn't want the job. It was just uh yeah, it was just bad timing. Just different. It just wasn't the situation at that point. No, I like I really yeah. liked. I really liked. I was yeah. at the Dragon Y. I really liked that job. It was like I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about Texas. And, like, honestly, I hadn't really watched a lot of the videos at that point. To your um, defense, I didn't know that your brother worked for Dale. I just thought you were just some random kid. And I was like, this guy This guy looks cool. Hey. I thought You can the, ask Donnie. Yeah. And he was like, Thank man. You. I thought you looked cool, and then I met you. Yeah, then it just went straight <laughs> downhill. I thought the best part of the, about that video was, like, I was trying to figure out stuff to, stuff to you know, film. And then I just, I had, like, shot a snake. And I was like, ah, I could use that. So there's that, nice. that one part of it. Like, I'm just sitting there talking, and then I just kind of. Cut like, it? What's that? You cut it like you you chopped it up a little bit. No, I just I just shot him, and then oh. like She's talking I, about no no the no. Video. I mean <laughs> oh oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. But it was I mean it was just it wasn't any fancy editing or anything. Just, hey, that's awesome. Yeah, you should see my. Have I showed you my intern video? No, I want to see yours. It it's all, good. Same. It was all Snapchat videos that like I didn't film with the intent of applying for an internship. It was just Snapchat things, me being funny, and I did a voiceover. (laughs) With Sweet Home, or no, what was it? All Summer Long, Kid Rock was in the background. Like, I remembered it. I wasn't going to pick you, but I remembered it. No, I get it. I get it. it. That was good. (laughs) It was memorable. Yeah, that's... And then when I made the other one, they're like, oh, yeah, that was this kid. Right. What's... That talent. makes like so. Talent. You had Kid Rock playing during your video. Yeah. What's one song that you wish copyright laws aside, if we could make a video, like what's one song that you'd want on a on a huh. on a radio, pop- Tom? Yeah. I don't know. I got yeah. a lot of good songs I like. Man, Paradise by Dashboard Light by Meatloaf. It's like ten minutes long, but it's amazing. <laughs> that is not at all what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking like Freebird. <laughs> That'd be. Awesome. I wasn't thinking Freebird either, but I like that song. I don't know. I don't know either. Sweet Emotion would be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Blythe. Oh, I have no idea. What do you even listen to? Yeah. What do you <laughs> besides Taylor Swift? <laughs> Stop this. What? I know you know that uh, I'm, I'm Taylor Swift's number one fan, but. I do listen to other things like Taylor Swift's boyfriends. Which Jake Gyllenhaal sings? I don't know that. <laughs> Taylor, La- Taylor that Lautner put out an was album. Taylor La- Sharp- was that Jake Gyllenhaal? Sharp boy makes music. She's had. Oh, I don't know. How many boyfriends has she had? Yeah, like twenty. Oh, I don't know. Why? Yeah, that's more than the average person. I don't know if Jake was Jake Gyllenhaal one of. I thought that was the one she dated like ten years ago, and she just wrote a whole album about it. Yeah. She dated him oh. like for like two months. That's like the only dude I know that she dated. I don't know anyone else she dated. Taylor uh, Taylor Lautner. She did. Yeah. I know Harry Styles. Thanks. Really? She made the rounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. You needed I, inspiration for her music. I don't <sighs> think I'd. I don't, I'm not a fan Taylor Swift fan. Yeah. Blythe's taste in music has changed for the better. When I first got here, we had to go to Dallas Market, and I was <laughs> DB was like, "Yeah, Willie, Willie, Willie can drive." So I I drove us, and she just started playing like just mainstream bro country, and like <laughs> I just met Blythe, so I wasn't gonna be like, "Hey, turn this music it off." This summer. is summer. So I just music. I just bit my tongue and just drove two and a half hours <laughs> listening to that <laughs> all the way to Dallas, and I hate traffic, and we were in traffic <laughs> listening <summer>. to <laughs> Luke Bryan. <laughs> oh man, heck yeah, that's that's the, tough. The guys out in the warehouse listen to that stuff a lot. Yeah, yeah, it kind of just throws you for a loop. I I hate when people come in and that's what's playing because it was like, it, to me, it puts out the wrong vibe. Well, it's like lobby music, you know. We can't always play what we would listen to. Dude, they'll have some yeah. stingers though. Like Morgan Wallen has some good songs. I'll, Agreed. There's some songs that I like, but then some other ones. I wouldn't like, say they're good. I'd say they're catchy. It's better than hard rock yeah. playing in the warehouse when people come in. Excuse me, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I'm not really hard for. I like some of David's hard rock. Oh man. The only thing that about David's music is like he'll he'll have a remix of a really good song and, and it's just not good. Like, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that bums me out. There's this guy in the warehouse that plays what Cole likes. There's like there is oh, some I like good, all there are some good hard rock songs. I won't sit here and say that they're all bad. I'm just Absolutely. not. A, I'm just not a huge fan of it. You know. You yeah. never went to Warp Tour. I try. I go there every summer. You went to Warp Tour. Of course. Who's your favorite band on Warp Tour? Couldn't pick one. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's warp warp tour. You've never heard of warp tour? I don't know if they have it up in. That's no. I know it's a Midwest thing. Maybe, maybe they do. I don't know. Yeah. In Nebraska to, land days. 
Okay. Yeah. Nebraska Land Days. Wasn't what was the one? Was that? It's a lot of bands, bands? like. Well, mm-hmm. Didn't Vans sponsor that? For a I'm minute? not sure. I uh, personally no. have never been. <laughs> <laughs> but it's bands like Blink One Eighty Two, like uh, Breaking Benjamin, just right. like. That's that'd yeah. be that'd be a good time then. Warp Tour 2022. Yeah, who's on the tour this year? I'll let you know. I'd go to that. Yeah, absolutely. That's <laughs> what I, it's hot as all hell. Yeah, it is sponsored by Vans. I knew it. I swore I heard about it before. Well, I, I'm not surprised. I went to a. Slip- I wasn't arguing. Seems that, like right yeah. right up their alley. I went to a Slipknot concert once. I uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, he said I, I didn't get it. Oh dang, they'll be in Houston. If you guys want to go, they'll be in. Uh, what date? It looks like there'll be the three different places. They don't have a date. They just say they'll be in Charlotte, they'll be in Houston, Chicago. Who's and on the Warped Tour? I'm getting there. How tour to buy. of Warp. It's telling me how to buy a t-shirt, how to buy this. I just want to know who's on it. Let's go to a different website. That one's VansWarpedTour.com. This seems like the right place. I think the bands change probably from city to city. Mm-hmm. Probably. Sublime. Oh, that's 1995. You mean Sublime? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Cole. <laughs> Don't get lost in the details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happened. I called it. What is it? Sublime? Su- sublime. Sublime. So it's like an underwater lime. All right. Oh, <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Do you have another question while we're ready? Yeah. Yeah. Whoever designed this website sucks. Not com website because. Plug. Could work, Carson. Carson and. Carlos, right? Carlos, yeah. yeah. So weird look. Is it a weird question? No, there's. Well, there's a lot of. <laughs> Weird questions. A lot Let's of misspelled stuff. How much wood could a wood chulk chulk <laughs> if a wood chuck could chuck wood? I don't know why they spelled chuck chulk, chulk. the first two times. And then write the yeah. last two. Well, judging by their question, they seem to be a deep sinker. Yeah. Um, it's just a lack of effort. If Joe and Willie are Dayton Ooh. or Donnie or even Dale. Um, <laughs> <is it if? laughs> yeah. Yes. I can give you a hint. I am not dating Jordan. You sure? I'm positive. That's what I heard. You were. JB asked me. Really? What'd you say? Yeah. I said yeah. No, you didn't. You I'm most, quiet in the back most there. Certainly did. <clears throat> you said it was someone else. Nope. If nope. someone is in good solid shape, what's the max weight okay for a six? Foot saddle bronc rider. I don't know how much do I pay. What's the max weight? I don't yeah. think it's not. There's not strict rules to it like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't I think mean, so either. Yeah, if you think you can ride broncs, go ahead and ride broncs. Absolutely. Some people will say it's easier. Some people say it's harder. Billy Etbauer was like five feet tall. Yeah. Mm. Um, I know there's plenty of tall dudes. There are a lot of tall. Uh, yeah. Saddle bronc. I don't. I can think of more shorter guys personally, but yeah, yeah. Why Dale's, do you think that is? That's just. It's easier. I mean, your spur stroke and everything is smaller. You're not, you know, think about it a long, for a long-legged guy and everything to put your feet all the way up in their neck to bring them all the way back. That's a lot more distance to cover than a short little guy with stubs like Donnie and I have. Um, yeah. How does it feel to be grouped in that, Donnie? He knows. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're <laughs> I'm built very similar yeah. to, like, I mean, yeah. a lot of guys in, that are going to the NFR, yeah. they're not, uh, they're they're not very tall. Yeah. I think, like, I was, like, upset that I wasn't a really tall person up until, like, sophomore, junior year of high school. And then after that, I was just like, why did I worry about that? I've never really thought of myself as short, though. I just would be, like, really upset if I wasn't 6'5". I don't know why. Would you rather be two feet taller or one foot shorter? Two feet taller. Nah, I don't know. You think Not if I'm shorter? trying to ride Bronx. Yeah. Or bowls. But, yeah, but think about you. A foot shorter? Yeah, that'd your be head, terrible. Your, your head, where your shoulders at I'd right be now? Six eleven. Think just how tiny your Bronx saddle would be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. I don't. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna get a lot more girls, I guess. If you're gonna like, if you could ride Bronx really good, I just play saddle. Really good. Good. But if you're really two matter. foot taller, you're yeah. probably gonna get a lot. Of, I don't know. That'd be freakishly tall. <laughs> two feet tall. Yeah. yeah. Seven I'd feet. have to play basketball. Yeah. You doorways would be a problem. Wait, is it one foot taller and one or two foot shorter? Two shorter? foot. Taller, I would take one, one foot, foot taller. taller. So I'd be five foot instead of being eight foot. Yeah. Mm. Dang. Well, I got seven foot, 11 inches. Like, that's pretty freaking tall. Yeah. You're 5'11? I try it. <laughs> Next question Is Cole teaming up with Leroy for music? Yeah, every now and then. Uh, whenever we get the chance to, kind of just lead guitar player for him. So. 
probably see it more. We go down to Double D's every now and then, play at the uh, open mic night. Yeah. Can, can we not say that? No, Double oh, okay. D's. I was yeah. just going to Say something smart about yeah, oh. Donnie's Daytona's bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Donnie Daytona. Come check it bar. out. Throckmorton, Texas. Yep. Throckmorton, Texas. We've all been there a few times. We mm. drum up a good amount of business yeah. for those guys. They make a good steak. And mm. gate, gator balls. <laughs> gator balls. I got pulled over in Throckmorton yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was really? going 14 over the speed limit, <laughs> and the cough just let me off. No warning or anything. That's some bull crap. How are you ever going to learn? <laughs> I don't know, but he was really nice. It must be so nice to be a girl. I drove the van through Graham. Get out of a lot. <laughs> Everyone's driven through Graham. Like we can everyone? Talk, we can talk about Graham, can't we? Yeah, for sure. So everyone here has driven through Graham, and we, you know there's a lot of cops. Those who haven't driven through Graham, Texas, there is a very high population of officers waiting to get someone there. Oh, yeah. Right. So I took the van without license plate straight down it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to go get it uh, the inspected. Almost got inspected. Brake lights weren't working, so I took it to this place called The Shop. And he fixed the brake lights, so and now he's replacing the radiator. Nice. Because Del Brisby isn't a radiator mechanic anymore. Ah, so yeah. he couldn't. Yeah, he doesn't have the tools. So well. Kevin isn't? This guy has the tools now. Nice. You see, pulling out the radiator and draining all of that and replacing it, like, I just don't really have the time to want to do that. And then you got to worry about where you're going to drain all the fluids and everything. Like, this guy's going to take care of it all for a little bit more money, yeah, but mm. it's going to be done right instead of me looking up on YouTube. And like, dude, this looks right. <laughs> you do it. Cool, work, works for me. And then you get down the road, and she gone. Dude, I remember, but you didn't get pulled over. Nothing. No, and I That's had. Good. We went through Graham, and then Gabe actually had two cops run up on him while we were in Graham because he parked in an alleyway, and we were unloading stuff from the truck, but it was in park, and the cops said, "No, you can't do that. We almost um, impounded your truck." It's like, so you're gonna you're gonna pull over this dude for just moving some stuff, or you're gonna let an unmarked van just go straight down the middle of your town? Like, who knows yeah. what they're doing? No questions arise. I even passed two cops, and there was mm. nothing. Dude, back in Dillon, I remember it was a terrible day because I broke my I broke my toe, like in the morning, but like like I broke my big toe back towards my foot, so I had to have a boot on, and I like eh. was going back to town. Then I broke my phone immediately afterwards. I go to town <laughs> to the phone store, so a I like parked day. in the middle of town. I left my dog in the car, Roscoe, and then. Went to the phone store, and I was like, hey, I broke my phone. I know I have phone insurance, though. They says, oh, well, you're going to have to get on the Internet and file a claim. I was like, well, I can't get on the Internet. Like, I can't use my phone. They said, I'm sorry, we can't help you. So pretty <sighs> defeated, I go back out to the car, and I left. I locked my keys in the car. No. It was like just a terrible, sun was going Your down. Dog. Oh. And Your my, dog. My, my dog was in there. Yeah, he was fine. Oh. Um, it was warm in there. <laughs> um, but I just remember breaking into this car in the middle of town, like in the middle of town, just this big empty parking lot in the middle of town, and nobody stopped. Nobody even asked questions. I was like, I remember I always thought about it. I was like, be man. really successful. Yeah. Uh, Why isn't anybody doing Why anything? Why isn't anybody doing anything? <laughs> hey, I'm breaking into this car. Um, what is your favorite episode of Rodeo Time or a favorite memory with Dale? I like the Sasquatch episode. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. I like the Sasquatch episode. Yeah. Finding Bigfoot one. That was fun to shoot. I thought it was cool and like it was just kind of I don't know. I w- I thought it I thought it'd get more traction than it did, but that's one of my favorites. Some people just don't get comedy, you know. I think so, yeah. Uh, they just I don't know. It, it's fine. It's fine. It, it's, it, it, it's it's all right. Yeah. What about you guys? I don't know. I think the OG videos are pretty funny. Mm. Like when they were down in Franklin, some of those ones. Yeah. I think those ones are pretty. You mean Winnebago? Yeah. <laughs> the ones down in Winnebago are pretty... The, the first few episodes, I think, were pretty tight. Yeah. They're pretty funny. Dale Brisby, King of Bullriding, <laughs> Budweiser, King of yeah. Bullriding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, he has, like, that... Like, I think it's the second one that he made with the gun safe open, and he just has, like, this gun in his waist. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> like, <laughs> How did you hear about Dale? I just looked it up on YouTube. Well, I looked up stuff about cows, because I thought cows were cool when my friend had some. Like, I'd go over there and just, like, Helped them load them into a trailer. That was the extent of it. And I was like, this is cool. We'll YouTube some of it. We should start our own little herd. Yeah. And Dale Brisby, You Ain't No Cowboy, pulled up. And I was like, what the heck is this? Like, this guy's kind of funny. I know nothing about cowboying or anything like that. I still don't. But this is pretty freaking funny. And then I just watched it and was a fan. Did you have to tell it so it's monotone? And then I laughed yeah. really, and then really I- hard. <laughs> what about it you, Blythe? Life-changing. It was. Um... I liked the sixty-seven-year-old rancher. That was. But how did you how did you find it? Him. Um, I think I was like looking at trucker hats because uh, 
for my <laughs> sorority I was in, we were doing like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a boy story. <laughs> Obviously, I can get one of these on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, because we were ordering them and I just was looking at styles at like what other people were doing. And then I looked at Dale Brisby and I looked at his website and I was like, oh man, this these are cool. This would be a cool web reference. And the trucker hats turned out really cool, by the way. But um, they... I'll tell Dale. Yeah. yeah. Well, we used... We didn't use the logo or anything, just like... Oh, so you ripped off Rodeo Time. No, no, no. You weren't no, buying no, no, hats. No, no, you were no. ripping them off. <laughs> no, no. And then I was like, wow. And then I... <laughs> 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 and I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> People are buying these. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool. So I saw his YouTube and I was like, wow, this is this is awesome because I'm from a farm. So it's it different. And then I noticed that they were in, I was actually working at a retreat that you guys were in a booth in Lincoln. I was like, man, I don't have anything to do with the rest of my summer because I was done working at the summer camp. And so I came up to you at the booth. I was like, hey, I like editing videos. So originally you were just going to be here for a summer? Well, I did online college. So are you doing that this this semester too or just not this semester? semester? I'm done with regular core classes so right on you worked at a summer camp yeah like with cabins and stuff and yeah. like marching camp songs and <laughs> can you see it awesome. did you have yes. a fan no it, it definitely makes sense absolutely <laughs> yeah absolutely. that explains a lot honestly. hey everybody <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i was the best kid how, how much you use the word amazing like <laughs> that makes a lot of sense <laughs> incredible some little kids incredible you a story yes. you don't yes. care about Incredible. Amazing. That's a great story. <laughs> hey, little campers. Hi, welcome to the lake. Was it on a lake? Yeah, I drug them across that water. They were all wanted to wakeboard. And every little kid <laughs> wants to wakeboard at a summer camp, but they all can't do it. And the boats were really rickety that we were driving on. And so, Did you have a rock wall and stuff? Yeah. Rock wall? Did you shoot yep. bow and arrows? Tree tops. Yeah. Start fire. Yeah. Sounds like summer camp. Dude, I've, <laughs> I've always I, wanted, I always wanted to go to summer camp. Dude, Dude I would have been awesome. I went to summer Mm-mm. camp. It was pretty rad. Mm-mm. Did you guys have Do like... Went, oh, go ahead. No, sorry. You go. Oh, did you guys have like sixth grade camp? Anything like that? No. Mm-hmm. This oh. is, I went to Boy Scout camp. Yeah. It was pretty tight. It was cool. Like a little fires and stuff. And like you could pick who you're, was in your tent. So it was me and my best friend, Hunter. Right. And well, it was Hunter and then Wraith. It was both three of us. And we were just our own little outlaws and our tiny little <laughs> church church boy scout group. Like, we thought we were just the bad kids around. That's actually why I got my Eagle Scout. I think I told you that before. I was just out of spite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is it. purely sarcastic. I think the camp that I'm thinking that I really wanted to go to was, like, from the 80s, from, like, those... That's how, the, right. that's how this yeah. one felt like. Not really. This yeah. one, ha- like, all the buildings and everything were, like, from, like, the 70s. Like, I felt like I was on the scene of, like, an 80s summer camp. Yeah. It was pretty fun. There's got to be one guy that just lives there year round, right? Yeah, has I don't to be know. at least yeah, one. I don't know. This one was never in been. my county too, so it was only like thirty <laughs> minutes away. <laughs> never, never. Been. Oh, yeah, it. man. Yeah, summer camps. I don't know. I we went. We had sixth grade camp, so like every year, you know, at least where I was from, they used to do it. But yeah, you'd go for like a week, and you'd just go to sixth grade camp, Camp Seymour, and it was out on the ocean and everything. But yeah, it was the whole. Wait, the whole what was deal. it called? Camp Seymour. <laughs> Carson says he's getting on Little D today. Oh, he did. Is Carson getting on Little D today? Dale just walked in. Carson's been saying he's pretty a pretty handy bull rider. He recently. did say run that paint. Raise course. your hand if you think Carson says he's going to get on Little Don. No, oh, he didn't say it. One, two, Jordan says three. No. Four, five. Wow. Five out of five in the media room. Who did he start it? That was Carson. That was our mid roll from Dale Brisby. Yep. And back to the podcast. Yes. Yeah. Um, Donnie, how'd you hear about Dale Brisby? Man, um, I had always been, not always, but I, I followed a lot of rodeo guys like Ryder and Rusty and yeah, naturally. At least those uh, two. Yeah. yeah. Naturally. <laughs> um, that was, bef- I, it was obviously before Stetson was right in riding pro. and But uh, I just started following a lot of guys, Casey Fields, guys that were just top rough stock guys. And you go to the for you page and it kind of right. connects what you've been following and looking at and stuff. I kept seeing this guy in this <laughs> Doug Dimmadome <laughs> cowboy hat <laughs> right. with a blue band, and I was like, "Who is?" I guess uh, the hat is really what grabbed right. my eye. I was like, <laughs> I kept looking at it, and he ke- like he pulled it off. Like he, I was like, "Is that hat cool?" I right. can't like, well, I look good in that hat. <laughs> I can't, I can't tell. And then 
just over time, finally, I yeah. just clicked the follow button. Right. Like after like four or <laughs> five times of finally seeing it right. in my for you page, I, I saw I clicked the follow button, and then I would see on his stories, you know, he'd make swipe ups for his YouTube videos, and that yeah. was about the time. I bet Garrett was probably right before Garrett got here, or Garrett had just gotten here, right? And I don't know. I just started watching a few YouTube videos. And that's that, yeah, that pretty much it. the story of that. Send you know? a video. What was your video like? Did you have to send a video? Pretty boring, honestly. Yeah. Like, um, I said a few like good one liners, but I didn't yeah. add no music or nothing like that. Right. Like, I, I, I. The only reason I chopped it up is just to make it. I could. I. It had to be under two minutes, or so he said. You know, yeah. it was like one to two minutes, and I was like so scared to right. say anything longer than that. So I just cut out the dead parts, but. It was pretty, probably pretty boring. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I said something. I, I think I might have quoted like that Ian Tyson song, um, uh, the old Double Diamond. I was like, oh yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm looking for new range to ride, new, new <laughs> knots to tie. If you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah. I said something like that. It was probably pretty cringy. Not gonna lie. That's all right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, it worked out. Yeah. yeah. You don't know yeah. any better. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I know about him for a long time. It's not it's not a very good story. <laughs> Lane came yeah, my brother came back from Texas after he was the first intern. <laughs> How did he get hooked up with them? Went <coughs> went to a Sankey school. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And uh, and their dad was their dad was coaching there and everything. It was like, Yeah, if you guys want to come off, we're getting on Bronx. And uh yeah, I just ended up ended up staying for a while. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It was a good time. I think, anyways. I was never here. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> what it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> I hear them tell stories about those days, and I always yeah. think it's like 40 years ago. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like, what it sounds like. like. But no, it was like five or six. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a long time. Well, it was probably a little longer than that. It was like yeah. 10 years. Yeah. 10 years for Lane. But still. Yeah, yeah. What's 10 years ago, 2012? I was a sixth grader, or seventh grader. Mm Doing Man, I graduated stuff. high school. Yeah, I feel like I was a sophomore, probably Eesh. going into my junior year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was in seventh grade. Mm. What yeah. other questions you got, Donnie? Let's see. Got some more. Are we bucking bulls tonight? <sighs> yep, we are bucking bulls. So somebody asked if we were getting new bulls anytime soon. We just got uh, a new one yesterday. We actually got little Don back too. So. There's that. Mm. Why is Donnie so short? Genetics. Yep. Well, you see. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually an incredibly long story. <laughs> <laughs> what did Donnie do for St. Patrick's Day? I couldn't even tell you. Honestly. <laughs> kind of just went by and didn't even think boxes. about it. Kind of just blacked out. I woke up in the <laughs> woods. Uh, <laughs> Were we in? We were in Houston, weren't we? I don't remember. We were yeah, we were, we were in Houston. Oh, we didn't do yeah, anything right. for St. Patrick's yeah. Day. We went back to the house with the Airbnb and we watched, watched Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. Bob and Ross. let me tell you, it sounds boring, but it was actually a really good time. Bob Ross <laughs> is amazing. It's just uh, our Houston experience really wasn't that bad for the circumstances. No, not at <laughs> it's all. Pretty fun. There was plenty. Yeah, we we found ourselves like. We were watching street races and stuff going on. A lot of homeless people. The first night I was in Houston, <laughs> oh. I was with Blythe. And we're just coming off, coming off this really sketchy looking exit, and everything it's like a circle, like all the bridge. lights, you know, go off. And um, <laughs> anyway, there's just these guys pushing a pickup with all the windows broke out of it. Uh, <laughs> this guy, I was like, well, slows you know, down. The good Christian I am. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I slowed down. I rolled down Bly's window. Your little white car. And uh, hey, you guys My need window. me help? Not your window. And they just see Bly and be like. Yeah, and both of them start walking towards the car. And no I went, teeth. They had yeah. no teeth. And they just stopped pushing the pickup, being like, yeah, we need help. And I was like, well, all right. <laughs> They're like, yeah. <laughs> so you just teased fixed. them. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Maybe they were really nice guys, just need a ride. I don't know. Didn't well, stop. There's didn't actually stop. some really nice parts in Houston. We went Cheesecake Factory. That was a baller. That was, that was a good call. That's right, part. yeah. That was That's your awesome. idea. Yep, Cheesecake that was, Factory. That was a good call. What yeah. cheesecake did you get? I didn't get cheesecake. Oh. Nope. I just got what? fettuccine Alfredo. I made the mistake of mistaking the Cheesecake Factory with the old Spaghetti Factory. So we walked in there, That's and I was thing? like, no, man, like, these people got great spaghetti. 
And, no, uh, I told him. And, when he uh, started rolling up, let's go to the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake like, Factory is kind of bougie. That's what it I told him. That's, like, that's the exact term I told him. I was like, Cole, this is a bougie place. Like, we're going to be spending a lot of money that we don't have. And he's like, nah, dude, it's not that bad. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was thinking. I, I was confused with the name myself. Like, right. how fancy can a place be called the Cheesecake dude, Factory? It's freaking <laughs> bougie. We walked in there. We walked in there. It's like the freaking palace in Egypt or something like that. It's bougie as all get out. Fountains and everything going on yeah. everywhere. There's a pool. There's like a, with a courtyard and everything. But, well, they uh, took one look at us and they said, you guys have to eat outside. <laughs> yeah, so we, yeah, so we eat outside and you can tell like they haven't cleaned. They didn't all, clean the table. They, no, they didn't clean the table the whole, or anything from any of the other tables. We were just sitting on this weird, like, lawn couch. Yeah, it's where they put in the, the riffraff dark, like us. In the dark, mind you. and uh, Fancy restaurant. Yeah, that's when I realized, like, this isn't the old spaghetti factory. Because <laughs> no. the old spaghetti factory is amazing. That's when, <laughs> that's when you noticed. Yeah. When that's you sat when down noticed, yeah. after. <laughs> I love the old spaghetti factory. What's it like? I'm not going to lie. My fettuccine Fredo was banging. It was good. That was good food. Mm-hmm. It was worth the money. It wasn't as expensive as I thought. And it was a lot of food. Yeah. Their servings yeah. are also really big too. Well, our yeah. well our server, really good guy, but it was a long time we were waiting. It was his first day. Yeah. Well, I had to tell him that my daddy owned the company, and then that's sure. when he started serving. That's us what faster. you gotta say. You gotta do it all the time, even if he doesn't. If you yeah. were just a Lefty bad, Holman taught me that. If you were just a <laughs> bad waiter, I think I got it from you, so I probably got it from Lefty. Yep. <laughs> if you were just a bad waiter, she'd always just go in and be like, "Hey, sorry, it's my first day." Like every time you, like, yeah. So this is that's what, what I did. I saw you last time. Yeah, it's my first day. Things work. What else you got? Magnificent Seven? Question mark. What's oh, that? that's an amazing movie. Both of them are. The, the first new one? one. The first one is a, is a is an amazing movie based on Seven Samurai. You know, an old Japanese film. Um, the new one, new one is still awesome. I I, I enjoyed it. Didn't have to think very hard about it's it. It's been a long, long time since I've seen the old one. I've the old never one? seen. I've never seen the new Yul one. Yul Brenner, Steve McQueen. Um, yeah, it's that's, oh Steve McQueen. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Yeah, probably circa 1965, I would say. That movie is old, but uh, yeah, I know that that's that's an amazing film. <clears throat> Everyone's favorite rodeo, Calgary. Never been. <clears throat> I haven't been to a lot of the big ones. Yeah, I I got to ride. My dad rode in Calgary back in the day, and I got to ride in the in the novice bronc ride in Calgary. Yeah, that, so that was kind of a it's, loaded question. It's my favorite. Pick a bad one. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, let's hear some. <laughs> let's see who the worst is. What is your type of woman? Yeah, Cole, what's your type of woman? Yeah, Cole. Uh, my girlfriend. Hey. She's my Snakes. type. Snakes. Uh, Has a snake. Shorter no, than me. No, the snake nice. The Super snake nice. thing was a... Yep, that was um, a phase. That was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, she still got it. Oh, uh, uh, gee, I thought you were going to say yikes. she got it. Yikes. <laughs> right, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she she had a snake, and I'm not gonna lie. At at first, I was a little, yeah. I even called called an old boss of mine. Uh, <laughs> da- I was like Dallas. Dude, Dallas. I, his name's Dallas. Yeah. Dale and uh, Dallas. Was he from Texas? No, he's from California. It doesn't make any sense. Um, anyhow, I asked Dallas. I was like, man, it's like I really like this girl, but and he goes, but she's got. At the time, she had two pet snakes. And so you got her down to one. One has since died. One has since yeah no she Somehow. gave she gave the other one away and he goes he says yeah I said I he said I understand that and Dallas like I'd trust him with any advice and he goes well he's like I'll tell you he's like most red flags pretty make themselves pretty obvious so if you think it's a red flag it probably is and I was like well maybe it's a red flag but I really like her like I guess I can look past a look past a snake turns out you can't look past a snake can't. it's a pretty big cage you can't but. No, yeah, we should, yeah, we should it. It's I'm out. feeding time. <laughs> Dude, yeah, feeding that thing live mice. And, like, I would just get to be friends with these mice and everything after a couple of days because she has to keep, you know, keep these suckers in live cages or whatever. And they'd be, like, all, like, you know. So you fed Stuart yeah. Little to the snake. I fed, heartless. yeah, Fievel. Fievel goes west. Another great western. Good movie. Mm-hmm. Great that's, movie. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. But, yeah, no, that's, um, that's tight. She's, Jimmy Stewart. He's in that movie. Give him the lazy yeah. eye. I think that was probably about his last film. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys even know what we're talking about? Nope. Yeah, Willie, what's your type? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I've never seen that movie. I don't know you know. That movie. Willie, this gal came up to us at the booth, and oh, man, Willie's dude. sitting there like, you know, she, he's she at the cash register. And this gal comes up, and she just props both hands on the counter, and she says, I was just walking by, and I just wanted to say, you're amazingly hot. Red and Willie, Willie? Willie, yeah. Willie didn't even say anything. I was sitting behind <laughs> he him. He didn't say anything? And over Willie's shoulder, I went, 
what are you doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and she's still looking at Willie, and she's like, oh, you know, I was just going to hang around here, maybe go grab some dinner. It's like, well, you want to go eat with us? And, uh, yeah, Willie, you didn't even What'd look you up. What you say? I really like when people do that for me. I it's one of my it, favorite things. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> what is What it? were you going to say? Nothing. I was Sorry, like, I'm busy I'm tonight. busy. I got work. I'm working here. And she was like, what? <laughs> now, if she was my type and I thought she was, like, attractive, then, yeah, I would have. But she, What is your type? You know, pretty girls. That's it. Ideal situation. Somebody comes up to a Someone that's not high maintenance. Yeah. Like, that's that's a red flag. Yeah. Like, if you always have to be telling someone, like, oh, you're so pretty. Oh, yeah. Like, girl just has confidence. That's cool. I, yeah. think, I think they just kind of have to be tough more than anything. Like, Grace... I remember one morning, like tough, but not that? with something to prove. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like, well, like someone, someone that's like high maintenance has something to prove all the time. Is just like, dude, yeah. like there's lots. I don't know. Like just, just fine. yeah. Like I remember, like there's plenty of stories of like Grace getting in fights, which I think are awesome. But there's like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, like one, one uh, Grace, like we were at her house and everything in town, and I woke up. I had to get up early. She's like, "What are you doing today?" And I'm like, "Well, I'm we're gonna go brand." And she goes, "Ah." Glad I'm not going to that. And she just rolls over, goes back to sleep. And then I show up at the ranch, and we were pretty, like, short on health that day. A bunch of guys canceled on us. So I had to call her back up, like, two hours later. She's like, hey, what are you doing? She was sleeping. I was like, you're going to need to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, when do I need to be out there? I'm like, right now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she came out. Didn't, yeah, didn't, didn't complain at all. Then I stabbed myself at that branding. What did you need that for? Dude, uh, so I, I was flipping. Me about this. I was. I had my knife, like we were, you know, <laughs> cutting calves and everything. And I pulled out, you know, the pointy blade, and I was opening it, like open up halfway, and then flicking it on my leg. And I had just taken my shaps off, and I like, ah, no worries, like going good. Everything's <laughs> everything's rolling fast. And I opened it up halfway, and I went to just finish opening it all the way on my leg, and I just just st- I'm like, oh, I'm like, I think I just like a good a good portion of the knife went in my leg, and I went. Oh, I just think I just stabbed myself. So that's what it feels like. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I opened it up, Stop and it was like out. bleeding through my pants, and like yeah. my my leg was kind of going a little, yeah. numb, you know. And uh, <laughs> then I just remember that night, like at the ranch house and everything, like I found an old bottle of iodine in the in the barn. That's right. And uh, Grace was like, "Hey, Yellowstone, she gonna need stitched to, you up." Yeah. So uh, no, she didn't stitch. I me knew up. you were on that show. She, did, she didn't stitch <laughs> me up, but she did. Like, yeah, we had to pour iodine in this in this knife wound for a couple of days, and that, yeah, leggings have no. Modern use. There's no point. Oh, yeah. Man. There's no point. In They're just for use. style yeah. today. Do well, people say that? Somebody. A particular did. video. We'll show it to you later. Oh. It's a YouTube video we make a lot of references what, to. What's your type in women, Blythe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh. <laughs> no, don't answer that. <laughs> what's your type, Donnie? Yeah, I, Donnie. I like um, brunettes, uh, short, short brunettes. Um, that uh, have nothing to do with Western world at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's my type. Fair enough. Fair Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into calf ropers. I think they're cool. Next question. That's not true. So you do like girls. (laughs) (laughs) That one backfired. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shoot. That was funny. I'm sorry to all my calf roping friends out there. Especially to hers because he's a firefighter and a a welder. Like, He's got something to prove. (laughs) (laughs) High maintenance. (laughs) He's just high High maintenance. maintenance. (laughs) What's the worst first date you guys have ever been on? I can tell you one. I went on this date, and this guy was very nice. But I remember in high school, and this is, again, back in the day where it was like, you know, yeah, our parents will drop us off at the movies or whatever. And, well, I man, I had a couple of terrible first dates. But this one, anyway, this gal, she was very nice, just a very sweet gal. And, like, we had been texting everything. And I was like, all right, I'll meet you at the movie theater. And we meet up at the movie You're theater. You a texter? What's that? I was. Oh. Uh, back when you had to pay for texts, like, you know, five cents a piece. Anyhow. All right, I'll meet you at the movies, you know, at 7, 7, 8 o'clock. I had a track and, phone. Yeah, I had a I had Virgin Mobile. Every every uh, text was a half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, um, yeah, so we show up there, and I'm just kind of waiting outside, and then a rig pulls up, and my date jumps out, and then, like, eight other girls hop out with her, like the rest of the softball team. And she was a I, softball player? Yeah. 
I'll try it. And they all, and then one of them, like her and I, like we were just kind of talking everything. And then one of them, she was, I guess, the uh, the ringmaster of the group and everything. She was like, "Well, what movie are we going to see?" Don't you hate that, dude? It got worse because I, like I said, I'm in high school. I'm like a freshman in high school. I'm paying for stuff with rolls of quarters, you exactly. Know? Like, and they have the audacity. I went. We went to dinner at Papa Murphy's afterwards, or some not Papa Murphy's, some pizza place. You didn't pay for and, it all, did you, dude? This gal was like, no. "Well, what's for dinner?" And I was like, "Well, I was gonna get a pizza for my date and I." She says, well, "What are the rest of us gonna eat?" Dang, what you pay for? <laughs> that's when you just want to be not a nice person. Just I'm not gonna be Christ-like. Oh. I'm just gonna tell you how I Dude, feel. I think that's but that's dating when you don't have a car. It's like, well, I'm here. Like I can't just yeah go it's back hard. to you know. Just gotta yeah. bite your tongue and just say, "Get along." Yeah, get there was along. A, yeah there was a there was another first date where that I thought went really well right up until the end. I took this gal to sushi, right? And I love sushi. Me too. And. uh Anyhow, oh, we went to the movies and we went to sushi and we're sitting there and this guy walks in and like locks eyes with me and I kind of just, oh, so romantic. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of went back to it and she goes, oh no, like that's my ex. Right oh. on. I was like, oh. I was like, He's going to fight. Right oh, on. I was like, when did you guys break up? And she's like, yes, two days ago. <laughs> no, she's like, we haven't really broke up. I was like, oh, stop. Oh, oh, excuse no, she, me. You are the other man. Yeah, <laughs> so I was like, oh, Will, this is weird. And then like she got up and went over to talk to him and they were talking for like 20, 30 minutes and I just kind of like. Eat your food. I just I just finished my food and then like I just, I Threw, threw down some money. I <laughs> thought about it. But I was like, eh. so then I just left and um, but you happy ending. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I left her with she her was boyfriend. Over there talking to him for like yeah. thirty minutes. Dude, she would have been left yeah. within the first like yeah. two. I would have ate my food Dude. and like, Get, yeah, I'm out Get. instantly. And she hadn't broken but up with explicit. him yet. Instantly. No, but the yeah. happy ending is they got married and they have three kids now. Hey, good for them. So, so you were the deciding. Really, factor. Really, I was the yeah. I was like that dramatic part you, in the movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was hey. like that. I was like that other guy in the Notebook. That's what's up. That's what's up. Or what's that? Sweet Home Alabama. You ever seen Sweet Home Alabama? Great movie. That's a great movie. Great movie. Remember the the other guy in that movie? Yeah. Like, the rich guy? That poor dude. Yeah. What did he do dude, wrong? he's rich. Ah, F him. He <laughs> got money. Explicit. He would have had life Explicit made. Explicit him. He didn't Frick do, him. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't, I mean, he didn't no, do anything wrong. No, but he was... I mean, you can't have everything. Kind of like You're the, rich. I'm just saying, he didn't even get an explanation. Like, he just kind of like, I'm sorry, like, I gave my heart away and I never really got it back. And he's like, dude, we've been together a mm. while. Wasn't like, his think, mom crazy, well, though? Yes. You think he yeah, had it bad? Last of the Mohicans, what was that dude's name that got burned alive? <laughs> he just loved that girl and he was just trying to just trying to marry her. And she's yeah. like, I don't love you. I love this rebel now. Hell dish. Yeah. yeah. And then he's <laughs> like, you can take me, burn me. And then he gets the one. They mix him up. I'm like, I will burn him. I love dish. She's probably my favorite character. Yeah. One of my favorite characters. You know what? But he was kind of a simp. I think I forgot. Yeah. Don't, be a simp. <laughs> don't be a simp. He, well, they all were. Yeah. I mean, some, yeah, they, they all kind of were. But dish was the most. He was the one. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know who? Spoiler alert! You know who ends up marrying Lorena in that in those books? P. Yeah, P. I. is the sweet P. I. is the one who ends up marrying Lorena. I think I knew in that. Streets of Laredo. I, I haven't read that one. But yeah, I pretty much know what happens in that movie. I yeah. don't know the like the, what happens with like Call and the outlaw guy, but like, do you want to know? No. Yeah. I'd like to. No. It's horribly uh, depressing. Yeah, that the whole deal's depressing. Like, Dude, Streets of Laredo is depressing because. Actually, yeah, because Lonesome Dove, you know, like I know, like I know Gus dies and everything. Yeah, and but that. he was he, at least he was old. Exactly, you know? he went yeah. out with his boots on. But you know? Streets of Laredo is literally just everybody, all those characters that you grew to love. It's literally just kind of how all of they, all of them die. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's, I like it's the prequels good. myself. Yeah, that was my that was those were some of my Comanche Moon is probably my favorite. Comanche Moon is the coolest book too. Mm -hmm. Like in there because uh, Val Kilmer plays him in the movies and everything, yeah. but in the books, so these Indians. Captured this captain, and uh, because he went, he had like a war horse, you know, a big old draft horse, and uh, yeah. So these these you know, the bad guys capture him, and they put him in this pit, and uh, he's got fleas, and they cut his eyelids off, so like he really? can't sleep. And this guy just goes oh. crazy. There's a part and everything where they're sitting talking about, it and he throws a snake at him. But um, yeah, he, he starts up, hopping like a flea. He but he <laughs> makes it out, and he's like just yeah. And Val Kimmer plays this guy. Yeah. yeah. In, how would you in the movie? How would your eyes not just dry out? They did. Yeah. They did. Yeah. And he had to out. like. No, they didn't fall out. He ended up. Do you want me to tell you what happened? Yeah. Like, he makes like glasses, like yeah. after he gets out of the right. hole. Like he goes on to. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. It's a good book. It's it's worth worth yeah. That's a rough but, life. Yep.
Spoiler um, alert for so yeah. yeah. In case you haven't read any of those books that have been out for an awful long time. Oh yeah. Donnie, do you have a worst date experience? Not really. Oh well, uh, nothing really? like no, nothing like no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Willie. The worst I could think of is I went to the movie theater with this chick and she had really bad smelling breath. And I just never talked to her again. That's when you, you buy uh, one of those mint candies. No, I'm not a simp. I was just out of there. Doll. Binaka? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, you can't brush your teeth. I'm out. Red flag. Yeah, how, like, would it, how would somebody react and be like, hey, you breath is like. Yeah. You got to think. <laughs> <laughs> First date, like though, eight cans of shock. <laughs> <laughs> Explicit. Do you want some? Yeah. Dude, I was a simp in my younger days. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think everyone goes through a one. simp stage, yeah. but I was a simp up until about three or four years ago. And just, yeah. just that's old me's dead and gone. Simp, simp Willie's done. Yeah, name wasn't even Willie back then. Changed my name when I wasn't a simp. Yeah, goes out to everyone out there. Don't be a simp. Yep, live. I uh, was in Arkansas. I was in Little Rock. Arkansas. <laughs> it's beautiful. It was a bad Whatever first date. <laughs> says. This guy. Was it your cousin? Was no. it? No. Oh, no, gosh. no. Heck no. But I do have a cousin. That's you dated your 20- cousin? You have a cousin? <laughs> no. But guys, guys, guys. My two cousins dated once. Oh, like, my not related, goodness. Not related by blood. Oh. Cousins from uh, opposite sides of the family. Opposite sides of the family. It was weird. <laughs> Did they know? Yes, they did. Oh. That's they not met. Weird. No, they weren't cousins. They, she, I was related to both. She of them. was the middle cousin. Like she, they weren't related. She was one. The only one related by blood was her. Yeah, right. It was at my cousin's wedding that they met. That's not weird. No, I had to think about it for a minute. Yeah. Anyway, but it sounds weird that your cousins date. They were from Arkansas. Yeah. But Arkansas is great. I went to college there. Um, uh, you kind of just called them all inbreds. <laughs> 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 <Dang> it. <laughs> it was beautiful. So we we uh, I went with this guy. It was he was going to hike somewhere because they have good hiking spots in, at Emerald Park, and it was kind of late in the day. It was like a drive, and I didn't know that. But uh, anyway, my phone died, and his he was playing music the whole time, so his phone died. Like w- he parked somewhere, and like he never been there before but like one time with a group of people and so it it got dark and his phone was about to die and we were walking legitimately in circles around this big park for a long time and I was like oh man this is a this is like a setting up for like a murder movie or murder story you know what they you're online and uh but we saw this group of people and we were like hey <laughs> it's a group of guys <laughs> and we were like hey uh can you drive us to our car if uh, you find it and they did we just climbed in the back of their van <laughs> they were super wait nice a minute, wait a minute the first part made you think that you were gonna get murdered and then you just climbed into a stranger's van <laughs> with like exactly six other people <laughs> they were super nice though you would be so easy to kill <laughs> I'm, <so sorry. laughs> I'm lost to the last year's easter egg i have no idea what just happened it really had anything to do with the skunk <laughs> Man, your guys aren't gonna. I'm just saying, if you if if that if one of those guys was a murderer and he was and and just all of a sudden this young couple like both our phones are dead. We didn't tell anybody where we're at. We're not supposed to be back for like three or four days. Like, do you think you could help us out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I the vacuum cleaner in the back. <laughs> this is gonna be a trap. <laughs> <laughs> this is not where I was. <laughs> yeah, but we made it back. That was good. That's 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 good. That yeah, it sounds pretty terrible. Yep. Don't yep. do that anymore. <laughs> you only get a f- couple free passes into it. There's a lot of evil in this world. Ew, catches up to you, dude. I yeah, yeah. That was it. Grace and I didn't have a, a bad first date. I mean, te- technically, she was. So I met her like you know. She brought her snake around her neck to the first date. No, I have never seen her do that. The snake just stays in a cage. You throw some mice in there every now and then. She squirts it with a bottle. I don't know. Nice. I get the high. I get the skin of the snake when it dies. <laughs> <laughs> I get the skin mm. of the snake when it's dead. What do you so, do with the skin? Well, you, there's a couple of things. You can stretch it out, like frame it up, but you could also just stretch it across the cantle of your saddle, and it'll stay there. Oh, that's punchy. Looks kind of awesome. Yeah. What kind of snake is it? Like a boa. Oh, boa constrictor. How? 
Is it like it's like six feet? feet. Six feet. Golly. Oh, well, maybe that's like, not cool. Maybe like four. That's I don't. I don't cool. remember. I don't remember. It's uh, big. The snake's bigger than me. No, it's not like it's not like huge. The cage isn't the size <laughs> of this table, dude. Like, it's six feet. That's freaking. Yeah. Apparently, it's pretty long. It's not like very girthy. And they live. Like you have to put them in your will sometimes. Snakes. Don't tell me that. No, yeah, I, they do I guarantee you, if Grace somehow passes before me, <laughs> I don't think the snake is going to, yeah. We're going to kill it. Love I, kill every, jacket. I try to kill every snake I see, except for that rattlesnake. I was, like, lost in the camera. I didn't mm-hmm. even think about trying to kill it. Yeah. Isn't it time. weird once you find out how easy rattlesnakes are to kill? Like, you think that they're just, like, super tough, and they're really not. They kind of just... No snake's, like, really tough. Like, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty easy to kill. They, right. they, sever, they, they sever pretty easily. Yeah. Like a worm. You can just hit them with your hit them with your rope a couple times. It'll kind of get them dazed, and then you can just roll in there. I didn't know that, but thanks French for tips. Yep, French tips. Yeah, branching tips. Yeah. <clears throat> Set of hobbles. What are the questions you got, Donnie? See. Might as well see what, see what we can go through there. I'm interested to see what people are asking about us. Did anybody ask about my overbite in that picture? No. No. Nah. Can you guys make more styles pre curved hats? Also, yes. what, what is Cole's IQ? <laughs> Cole, what's your IQ? <laughs> I've never I, taken an IQ test. Neither have I. I read a lot, but that doesn't make somebody smart. Someone asked who the best in, who's the best intern. Like just for straight. Not at this table. Do? Can't be at this table. Oh, we just gotta pick favorites out there. Ever? Best intern ever? Garrett Kelly Johnson. <laughs> Really? He's yep. from Nebraska. That had nothing to do with my boat. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what I'm, what I'm saying. From Nebraska. <laughs> we played him in his school in football. Nice. I just say that because he's not here anymore. Yeah. What about the others? That's not the question I asked. What do you mean? Why didn't you choose them? Because they're not here. Because they weren't my favorite. Uh, Everett. <laughs> Dang, Everett. <laughs> That's a deep oh, Everett, that kid. Everett doesn't really count. He wasn't uh, here long enough. I missed that kid, though. He was cool. Y'all got a favorite intern? Kevin. Kevin Kevin's I think great. Kevin's right. Kevin's, universally. Kevin's awesome. I think Kevin's Everybody's yeah, favorite. Yeah, favorite. <laughs> what, do you, yeah, what, do you, what do you say bad about Kevin? Yeah. Like, you know. Just does his own thing. I know. He's Why funny. did you want to be a cowboy? Why did I? And uh, I guess everybody. Moved to Montana. I grew up just watching... Roy Rogers and stuff like I just always thought my dad my dad was you know he rode Bronx and everything we were always around it I just thought it was the coolest the coolest thing ever you know um yeah I always I always wanted to be Roy Rogers like I didn't really care if I was a rodeo cowboy I just wanted to be a cowboy um then it kind of yeah we started rodeoing for a little while then I kind of got out of it when I was wrestling um I don't know I can't yeah I'm sure people have like a super that camera just quit uh I'm sure people have like a super dramatic answer you know, like, oh, I did it for the freedom or I did it or anything. It's like, yeah. man, I think the biggest thing is, you know, like, I don't know. There's a certain, there's a certain amount of freedom you have. Like when you're just like on your horse on a ranch, right. like just yeah. get, just getting yeah. to go around. Like nobody, you know, nobody messes with you. And, um, I don't know. It, it, it's a, it's an awesome, it's an awesome life. It, it really is. And you get to meet a lot of cool people. Like once you, once you get started, you're just doing it cause you like it. And then afterwards you're just kind of doing it cause it's like, man, like these friends and these friends you got are basically your family. Like, you know, it's tough to tough to leave those guys. That's what that's why I did it. What about you, Willie? I just thought farming I wanted to have a farm of some sort. A farm? Yeah. A corn farm. No. Blythe, what do you actually know about corn farming? Bro, I wait. Let me get- this is gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a of, of a corn farmer, like specifically someone yeah. that just grows corn. Most people I know cycle through different crops every year. Right. They don't just well, do corn. We. When did we you. We grow corn and soybeans on our farm. And also, we have Nigerian dwarf goats just as a hobby. How many? We used to have around 30, but now we have around seven. And Thank apparently, you. my favorite goat is a bully, so. Hey, y'all. Yeah, he gone. But corn and soybeans, nothing much else. I believe the question was, what do you know about corn farming? What do you want? To know? <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> we uh, recently lost our bins, so we have giant marshmallow-looking things. They're bags filled with corn in our cornfields. Right. They're, uh, I mean, they're they're good. They're not as good as bins because, like, 
they can get stuff in them and like they can if you don't fill them right you need a bagger and unloader so if you don't fill them right then they get yeah is it animal feed corn or is it for like it's for ethanol for ethanol so you use the corn strictly for ethanol yeah so and so if we wanted to do like corn for eating like chip and you chips yeah. and stuff there's a lot of like regulations with that and like the different pesticides you use so strictly for ethanol yeah you so you don't have to have any regulations whatsoever it's just no no there's regulations but it's just yellow corn which and like they uh they test the corn so if it has like a certain level of like i mean rot then there's too much corn in this corn. <laughs> no, no, no. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. <laughs> it Are you saying they te- like when they test for like moisture and stuff like that? Yeah, if there's like, because sometimes moisture, like when they're sitting in the bins and stuff, uh-huh. they get uh, like raw, like raw, wet. Yeah, wet, and so they, they kind of mold a little bit. But not our corn because it's right. top tier. You guys don't try dry because I know back home dryers. most bins have dryers. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. No. So you could control the moisture in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ours is from ours is really old. Our dryer, but I feel like it works better because it's new dryers. Dryer clean, clean the lint trap. Yeah, that's. I'm not. That's another <laughs> job that I don't do because I don't want to get lit on fire. Because uh, there's oh. a lot of chaff. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about it. He's talking about a dryer and a washing machine lint trap. The lint trap, you know. Oh, <laughs> I there, didn't hear you. I thought oh, you sorry. said. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I mean, I haven't heard it all that. <laughs> yeah, like. All right, you got one more question for us? Okay. Anyways, cowboy in school. <laughs> yeah, cowboy. Being a cowboy is the coolest what thing. What about ever. you, Blythe? Yeah. What did what? Why'd you want to come here and be yeah. a cowboy? Cowgirl. Cowgirl. Ooh, I don't know about cowgirl. Um, I wanted to learn something different, and I thought this was a cool way of life, and it brought me to breakaway. So. She started dating Cord. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do it before I saw Cord. Yeah, but you didn't put any effort towards it until he actually gets <laughs> mad that I don't talk with him about calf really? roping. Yeah, that's awesome. You should never. You should just <laughs> never like, ask like him about calf face. roping. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you should purposefully never ask anything about <laughs> calf roping. Like if you go to a roadie and everything, leave for the calf roping. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you seen see, those guys riding bulls? <laughs> yeah, ask him about the other stuff, but just never ask him about freaking oh, yeah. calf <laughs> Find one more question. Pretty pretty silly. Yeah, they're all pretty much the same. Or Yeah, I've either asked the questions or um, they're just inappropriate. Right. Ooh, inappropriate. Dang, Donnie. You can even just like word. Like one was like, will you marry me? Uh, no. No. How is that inappropriate? <laughs> well, it's just not really worth bold strategy. Mentioning. Yeah. Bold. Are you are you gay? Online. That was one of the ones I was talking about last. <laughs> <laughs> if you must know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's um I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's all we got. For think, 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 that's think it. That's, that's all. Real. Do we have a way to well, sign off of these things? Okay, so the the our first podcast we did uh, Advice, but in the last podcast, they did fun fact or joke. What did the DJ name his son? Eric. (laughs) (laughs) Dang. That was good. (laughs) Dang. You want to say it, Cole? Eric. (laughs) Yeah. I'm sorry. You want to say it? We can cut that out. Say it again. What did the DJ name his son? Eric. (laughs) 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 Gotta be quicker than that. (laughs) Gotta be quicker than that. Uh, I'm gonna count that as my joke, too. Oh, okay. That was my joke. Sounds good. Yeah. Donnie? Oh, shoot. Yeah. I always draw a blank. Like, yeah. That's why I'm using that as my joke. You can do a fun fact. Fun fact. You graduated college. I did graduate college. What was your minor? Fun about that. I didn't have a minor. I was, I, I graduated in. With a degree in ag business. That's what's mm. up. Dude, I was messaging. So one of my favorite things to do when, like, once I'm just, you know, sitting at home and everything is, like, when somebody messages the Radiator Ranch page and it's obviously a telemarketer, like, hey, I need your help. I'm like, just but just going with it and everything. I'm like, what? oh, my gosh, what is it? I'm like, well, you're not going to believe this. Like, my page and everything. Anyhow, I had this person going off just for hours. And they're like, no, I'm going to school. And I was like, well, what are you studying? And they're like, Graduation. <laughs> You're, you're nice. studying graduation? Yes, sir. It's a, de- it's a degree. I was like, 
your your degree is in graduation. <laughs> I was like, what classes are you taking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm I, always afraid responding to them that that's what they want. And then they can. <laughs> yeah, that's I always think they. So can I just do delete it as quick as I can. How, to get how it, it works? They will send you. They will send you a link. Sometimes they can get on. They'll like get onto your profile and be like, mm-hmm. I forgot my password. So or like they'll try to log in and say, I forgot my password. So it'll send the link to my phone that says, you know, like. How this is how you reset your password? Yeah. yeah, and then they'll say so. Screenshot that and send it to me. So then you send them the screenshot, and then they just manually input the link that they sent to your phone, and then they can just get in, change your password to your Instagram. Yeah. So, Dang. so that's so, how some of them people get hacked. Cole was responding to some spam uh, messages on my phone uh, in the booth <laughs> in Houston, and there was funny responses. <laughs> oh, it was awesome. Yeah, I, I don't know. Dudes, just thirsty dudes just trying to hit on Blythe and everything. So no. I thirsty over. dudes are always trying to hit on me. It's crazy. Yeah. Dude, it's weird. <laughs> Freaking Zachary Smith is out there somewhere. Whoever you are, Zachary Smith, Zachary. I'm on you. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> yeah. I hate that guy. I, I don't know. And some of them, they're just like talking about, no, man, I'm trading crypto. And it was like, well, mm. yeah, if you're, you're super successful, yeah, dude, I made like $3,000 in a week. And I was like, why do you? Why don't you just keep doing that? Yeah. Why, why I want to help you out. Yeah, why, I, don't, I don't want your well, help. Well, what's in it for you? you? Like, no, man, I could give you 100 followers for $60. And it's like... $60? I had 100 followers like a day, you know, if I'm posting. Oh, yeah, I'm like, Cole Snyder. I'm Cole Snyder. <laughs> no, I meant on the Radiator Ranch. Cole Snyder doesn't, but Radiator Ranch does. And, um, yeah, I just, I, yeah. The audacity mm. of some people. Honestly. The audacity. I'm with you, brother. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> I'm on a roll today. What do you call a cow with two legs? <laughs> Lean beef. We got him. I got a joke. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. What do you call a cow with three legs? Try tip. What do you call a cow from England? Sirloin. <laughs> that was good. I was about to boo. I was about to boo, but that was good. That was good. Well, what do you call a cow from New York? A New York strip. Hey, yo, he gets it. He gets that, it. that was yeah. terrible. Yeah, that was terrible. Great. Whatever, dude. Way to end this bad joke Friday. I try. I try. And we're off.